This video is made possible by the lovely people over on my Patreon. If you're interested in supporting the channel or you want to get your hands on some awesome high quality STLs, then please visit patreon.com forward slash will at heroic studios. Today we say goodbye to a, a valuable friend, partner, even. When in times of crunching, overwhelming cells, he came through in a pinch. My first resin printer here took his last breath last week. He's no longer with us. <sighs> to that, I say goodbye. You will be missed, my friend. You will be missed. Real talk, though, the Mars 2 Pro fantastic printer i had this thing uh back in 2021 and it has been chugging along ever since whenever i needed an order that needed to get done right away this was probably the most reliable printer i've ever had and it is now just to the point to where they don't make any replacement parts for it anymore and it is now well it's gone finished now i do have two more morris two pros over here and they work just as well as this guy. <clears throat> and so I'm counting down the days until those printers are actually gone. But until then, I needed to get a replacement. So, <sighs> say hello to the new Elugu Mars 5. Uh, not the printer that I wanted. I'm going to go out and say that I wanted the 5 Ultra. A lot more features, a lot more revolutionary uh, resin printing deals, and uh, that's the one I wanted, but I wasn't willing to drop 300 bucks on it. This was a Black Friday deal for $180. Hey, I got you for about 150, 30 bucks more, you get the latest and greatest so far. So, Mario 5, gonna miss you, buddy. Though, I don't really know how to dispose of printers. I have a whole shelf in the back over here that has a ton of resin printers. So if I come across any replacement parts that might still be floating around the market, hey, I can repair this part. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and start with the Elegoo Mars 5. So I bet you're wondering, dude, another printer? Yes, another printer. Aside from being mediocre at YouTube and running a Patreon, I have an Etsy shop. And right now, it being the holidays, I am extremely busy. So I need all of my printers working in tip top shape. I need them cranking out these orders so I can get it to my customers before Christmas. Uh, with that being said, understand that if I did not have a business, um, I'd still be buying printers. No doubt about it. This is the thing. If you're thinking about getting in 3D printing in 2025, understand that this hobby is a monetary black hole. It will suck you dry. You're going to see the latest and greatest printer and you're like, oh, I want that. And you're going to get it. I mean... When I got started, people were spending 300 bucks and that was a lot. Now you got people dropping $1,500 on a Bamboo X1C and they're doing it. So understand that it is a, uh, it's a black hole and this is why people actually turn it into businesses so they can buy new toys every month and so on and so forth. So um, understand that and understand that uh, I do it anyway because why not? So we're going to crack this bad boy open. We're going to set it up. We're actually going to put it where my old Mars used to be, and uh, we're gonna see what this thing can do. All right? Okay. Oh, that was cool. What is this? Are you gonna no, that's fine. Toolbox. Put these are in here. 
the usual pie cord, gloves, spatula, mask, yada yada yada. Well, I think the allure with these new printers is the color acrylic. We've had red, we've had yellow, we've never had green before. So this is actually kind of uh, alluring to me. I know Frozen has some green acrylic coverage, but I'm not spending freaking $2,000 on a resin printer over there. So this looks good. I like the new design compared to the old Mars. You have your build plate here, which is self-leveling, which is great. And then you also have your sandblasted pattern uh, build plate on the bottom which makes it easier for the prints to come off. You have your vat which looking at it is exceptionally bigger than the original Mars 2 and Mars printers. In the back you have your usual, uh, well it's not usual, you can actually attach a mini heater here, keep your resin uh, warm if you live in colder areas such as that. And then you have on the side your USB you have your power and your DC. I'm so glad they put the power here on the side because reaching all the way in the back to try and turn it on, that sucks. So, great job, Elugu. Great job. So, this thing is pretty straightforward. Nothing really to do in terms of setting it up. It does everything by itself. So, I'm going to get it hooked up. I'm going to get it turned on and we're going to see what the actual arm button looks like when we turn it on. If that's, if that's a thing we do on this channel. All plugged in and ready to go, but before we do turn it on, uh, I gotta note some differences here. Yeah, I know there's obvious differences here because this is newer and that's older, but it is roughly about the same size, just slightly bigger than the original uh, Mars 2 Pro. Now, obviously the green acrylic, red acrylic, different kind of interface down here, so on and so forth. Thumb drive is in the side as opposed to it being in the front. Power is in the back of the Mars 2, where power, as we discussed earlier, is on the side along with the power input uh, cable. So, this thing looks like it's been overhauled. Slight, uh, slight overhaul design, more sleek, new cover. This thing does have self-leveling. The only reason why I would possibly opt in and get an A5 Ultra is because of the onboard uh, time-lapse camera. So, if you guys ever watch Uncle Jesse's videos, he does his time-lapse of his resin where it's just coming up continuously. That is what I'm assuming that camera does. And it looks so cool seeing your prints doing like that. Plus it has online monitoring, all that fun stuff. Not sure if this has it, I will check um, as it's doing the first print and I will circle back to you. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Elegue Mars 5. Sorry if it's blurry, I'm using a different camera. All right, so it's doing its checks. You can see the Z axle is doing its thing. So this thing does do a online, not online, an onboard check of all systems, make sure everything is running right. Same with the M5S. Everything, every time you turn it on, it does this little self check. It tells you if everything's running right. This one apparently does the exact same thing. That'd be better if I just remove the uh, thing. So it's doing its checks. Sorry if you can't see it. All right, so we're in our tools, we're in our settings. I don't know how to really focus this. Hang on. No, that's not it. Yeah, don't really know. Sorry about that. No, well, let's see what's on the thumb drive. Slicing software, printing test. So you have a rook, because of course you have a rook. What else would you, what else would you have? So we're gonna put everything on here. We're gonna put the bed and the vat on here and we're going to see how this thing does. So I'm going to be using this like gold Yoju 3D printer resin. Haven't had much luck with it. But this uses a different light source, so I'm hoping that this will actually uh, fix it or actually work. So, gotta shake it up real good. Thank 
the sensor is being calibrated. Do not touch the device. So apparently it's calibrating the mechanical sensor. So will they do that every print? Maybe. I don't know. Three hours later. So as you can see, this resin did not produce anything of quality. This resin, I wouldn't say it sucks. I'd say that you have to be a, a little bit more precise with your setting. So maybe not the best resin to use when trying to spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull off a, a basic white pad sitting on the shelf and then try this whole test print again. So after two hours and 25 minutes later, we got ourselves a test print. Nice little basic look that is from the Elegoo people. So nothing too fancy. My only gripe is that the thing is actually no support, no raft, just onto the bill plate. So this might be a bit of a pain in the ass to get off as with all the other test prints I've done with Elegoo printers. But this new perforated build plate that we have here might actually prove to be a lot easier than before. So I'm gonna let the uh, resin drain off of here because as it says in the instructions, chapter two, article five dash nine, uh, you gotta wait for the resin to spill out. So I'm gonna do that. And while I do that, I'm probably going to charge my camera. See you in about four hours. So using that white, uh, white resin, that work is looking pretty good. My only gripe with it, as I probably said before, and now I'm repeating myself, is that it is actually on the build plate. There's no raft, there's nothing. So I've learned in my experiences with Elego, getting this damn thing off is a pain in the ass. So I'm actually gonna use a plastic tool, if I can find it, a brand new plastic tool that they say in their design or in their instructions that you should use to get off. So let's check this out for a second. It looks really good. I mean, no complaints. Is this perforated bill plate easier to remove items? Okay. As you can see, no, it's not. We're gonna use this guy. Ah. Hours later. Ah, it wasn't as hard as I thought. Little pain in the ass. Don't build directly to the build plate. So, what are my thoughts on the new Elegoo Mars 5? I like it. It is sleek and it gets the job done and it has all the bells and whistles that my original M5S has. That detection, AI, that whole tension thing when it's not pulling anything up and says, hey, there's nothing here. You want to continue or you want to end it. My only gripe with this thing is that when the vat isn't full, you have to stop the print and refill the vat. You can't just tell it to uh, say check again or anything like that. It's either stop print or ignore. So, eh, don't really like that. But all in all, this printer is great. The green acrylic, like I've mentioned before, looks great. 
the sleek design. It's just an upgraded version of the Mars line. And now that my second Mars printer is screen is dead, I might look in look into getting the Mars 5 Ultra. It is basically the upgraded version of this. It has the little tilt that thingy, which is cool, by the way. I like that. It also has an onboard camera. Okay, 289 bucks. Eh, I might go ahead and buy the bullet on that. But so far with Elegoo, the Mars line of printers have been fantastic. I have been running Mars 2 Pros, three of them, as I've stated earlier and in other videos since 2021, 2022. They've never been a problem, but now that they don't make replacement parts for the Mars anymore, it's, well, you know, you gotta get rid of that old and bring in a new. So that's it. Should you get a Mars 5? Yes, yes you should. Elegoo has always been leading the chart, but they're resin printers, they're, they, they do fantastic. The FDM printers, not so much. And I'm talking to the people who have complained about the Neptune 4s. That's ridiculous. Some of the shit I've seen. Oh my God. Anywho, that is the Mars 5. Go ahead and check it out. That's it for this video. If you guys like it, you guys have any questions, leave comments. Make sure you do like the video, subscribe, and I will be coming at you with another uh, set of videos. I might do some helmets. I haven't done a helmet in a while. It's been a minute. And I've been actually going ham on a lot of helmets. So... Uh, might do that. I got some TMT, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle slash Naruto. By the way, the crossover, I didn't think I needed. I got their Ambu mask printed up, so I might do a, uh, a video on that. Because why not? Why not? Okay, so that's it for me. Enjoy the rest of your day, night, afternoon, morning, whatever it is that you're doing at part of your day. At this point, I'm just rambling. I don't really care. So, peace.